Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on to share some um, things I've gotten in the mail from some small business shopping that I've done. Um, it's not a lot, it's just a few things and I thought I would share. I do have some videos coming up that I want to film. I did some birthday crafting shopping, so i um, just going to share what I picked up um, at the usual places. Um, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, uh, I did stop at TJ Maxx and my local scrapbook store, so I got a bunch of goodies that I'll go ahead and I'll share, but that will be in upcoming videos. But this one's going to be for the small business online shopping I did. And this first one is from uh, Viva Las Vegas Stamps, and I cannot remember who I was watching that used this, and it's just like a little... It's a rubber stamp and it's got this background and it was just so cute. Um, it's got little tiny, tiny stars and splatters, like looks like the sky. So it'd be really great for um, Halloween crafting and use this for Christmas too. Actually pretty much anything, like a birthday background or something, but it was really cute and I wish I could remember who I saw this from. I'll try to remember and if I can remember I'll link it in the description box the video that I I watched um, but yeah I did pick up this stamp and then I did see from Jamie's shop from not too shabby she had this ephemera in her shop and I'm not quite sure what the name of it is but it's really cute it's fallish Oh, it looks like it's autumn, my favorite color. I didn't order any paper or anything like that because I'm sure I have stuff in my stash that I could use this with, but I just really thought that the elements were really cute. Um, she's got some little leaves. Looks, looks like sunflowers, some corn. And then they're in smaller and bigger in images these pumpkins. She's got so many cute little um, designs or collections, I should say, in her shop. These are some pumpkins and then these flowers are really cute. You got the hay. And I really liked the, the barn is cute too. Um, got some wheat. The girls were really cute. And there's even some dogs in here that were really sweet. The dogs kind of sold me too. But I really liked the, the girl images. So you can make some little ephemera pieces or um, some little cards or tags. But look at the little dogs. They are so adorable. You get the mamas and the babies. Or it looks like maybe a family. The mama, papa, and the four babies. So cute. So I picked up that. And then I did... Um, see, this was back in stock for Heidi Swap, so I did purchase this, and everybody was using this um, with the word spooky for Halloween. I really liked that, the S, the, you know, they spelled it out, but you can obviously use it for anything. You could use the Christmas words, like Merry and Jolly and all that kind of stuff, and I like the little elements it comes with. This looks like a mini, mini, mini book page. Really cute. This is part of her Stamp Society um, subscription, but I was a member. I'm no longer. I just kind of buy them as I, the ones that I like. Sometimes you don't like all the ones that you get. But I did want to grab this one, so I picked up that. 
And then also from Heidi Swap, um, she did come out with her Christmas collection, so I picked up just a few items. Um, I picked up, well, this was the frayed burlap. I don't have this in my collection, so I just thought I would pick that up. So I did get that from her shop. I did get her, I already took it out of the package, her Christmas stamps in this set, and you can build a Santa Christmas mug, it looks like. A lot, and a little village. A lot of fun images, but I really liked that you get the jingle bells and the music, the music notes. That will be really cute for ephemera and stuff. And then you get some other little bits on there. It says Merry Christmas, International Express, very small down here, so you can use it for different bits of ephemera. Uh, North Pole. This is just, looks like little, just little dots for accents. And then the candy cane, you got the different faces, the mug. So I picked up that. And the ephemera to her set really cute. I like the muted colors. Yeah. It's very vintagey. She's got the numbers, I guess, if you want to do the um, advent calendar. Got a bunch of numbers. That's cute. And the bow. I love that sage green or grayish or whatever you want to call it. And the pink trees. The Santa's really cute. So these are just the little ephemera bits. And then as I was checking out, they had this. Um, little color, what this says, color collection. It's just a little pouch, and you put your goodies in it. Um, there's a little pocket, where is this? On the inside or outside? I had problems last time when I was doing that. Oh, I guess it's on the inside. You put a little tab in here. It's like Fort Knox. A little tab in here if you wanna label whatever you have in there. So yeah, it was just a, one of those impulse buys when you're online shopping at the checkout and they make suggestions. And then I did pick up her paper pack. So this super cute Santa mugs. Definitely fussy cut these. And then this ticking fabric print is the back side. So pretty. It's got a lot of texture too, because it you can see like the texture of the fabric. There's two of those. And then this little town Christmas village print. This is a distressed polka dot. It's got some distressing on it. The pink tree one is really cute too. This is really sweet. Got the pink trees. And this is on the back. Definitely good for cut aparts here. These different labels, they're really big. Can use those for matting for pictures or albums. This is really pretty. It's a distressed um, jingle bells in pink, like a. It looks like um, like a spun sugar or a kitsch flamingo or something like that. The distressed oxide, but yeah, it's in a distressed um, jingle bells music paper. Here's another, it says the Christmas tree over here. That's really pretty. 
I love music paper. Uh, deck the halls is up here. I have to get some more of that. And then this is a distressed stripe. And it's got some like writing there. I love those little details. This is really cool too. This is definitely like vintage -y. Straight. And then this is really pretty too. And that's that for the Heidi's collect the Heidi Swap collection paper. Okay, so I was showing all of these goodies that I got and realized that I never pushed record. So this is a take two on this. Um, this is a little journal that I received from um, the YouTube channel is Embellishments for Days and her name is Liz Rapp. And I came across her channel and I saw that she was showing these journals, so I ended up grabbing one. So this is her information. And I'll have her linked in the description box. And I'm sorry, everything is pretty much already opened because I already showed everything in a video that wasn't recording. So let's try again. Um, she did send a cute little card with a discount code for my next purchase, so that was fun. Thank you, Liz. And then she had these really cute um, little embellies here that were packaged really cute, and I had already taken them out, but I'll, let's um, show you again. It was in this cute little paper bag, um, and I was mentioning that I love this for just sending some sweet happy mail. I have to remember to do that because I have some in my stash and what a great way to um, use them. We always think that our happy mail has to be like big and luxurious and it really doesn't because this is a really sweet package. But she had some DIY tags in here and I just love these. She was using her, I mean, we all have a bunch of scraps. When I look at something like this, I think what a great way to use your scraps, your stickers that we get, um, our little pieces that we just sometimes really don't know what to do with. But this is like a ticket snippet roll. So I really like this. And she used all sorts of little bits, fabric. I love the fibers. So I'm definitely going to be doing something like this because this is so cute. And then if you want to use them, you can just, you know, snip them off or and just use them in your layouts, in your journal or whatever. So that was like sticking out there like that. It was so cute. And then she had this little bit. Love that. This little cute, adorable witch hat that I was thinking um, when I first saw it, I was thought that maybe this was the, I think Stampin' Up! had a witch hat punch, and I thought this was it, but it looks like she pieced it together, like they're two different pieces. But it's so cute, and um, she just pieced it together, added some lace, I love that. That little detail, and along with some twine, and it's just... I love it. It's so cute. So that, and then here is another little um, ephemera piece. Used a bunch of different different pieces there. These tags I loved. I love the simplicity of them. It's just a tag with some black ribbon. And she used some um, fabric scraps and a little ghosty sticker or ephemera piece. 
and cut out or whatever. And how that's so cute. It's so simple and it's so cute. So I love that. And then this. Love this as well. And um, I know you can get these from the Dollar Tree or you can get them from um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. They're like table scatter or whatever. And look at, she just layered them up, put some fabric on the bottom, layered them up, put that really freaked out guy on top, and then the little um, sticker there, the like label maker tape. I just love that. I absolutely love it. And it's sparkly. And then this little card. How fun is that? She uses just you can use your stickers, a book page, some scrap paper. Use your stamps for a sentiment, and you're good to go. You can journal on the back. I love this. So yeah, so that was in a little goodie that she sent with the journal, and then this journal was wrapped so nicely. She had this ribbon around it and these cute little beads. And she has this, it looks like, oh, it looks like a, um, a cupcake liner. Love that detail along with this lace. And then she's got some ribbon and just some stickers and ephemera and a little tag. I love it all. Fabric is sewn. I love the rough edges. And then on the inside, it's... I was feeling this and it feels like bubble wrap and I've seen um, I've seen some people use their bubble wrap packaging like the plastic kind of like the you know what I mean but some of the plastic -y kind that you get and it it makes such a like a noise it's you know it's a lot of texture and it's kind of really interactive would be fun for Halloween or whatever, but yeah, I thought that was a good feature, but this feels like bubble wrap in here, so that's really cool. And then that's um, a lot of just blank pages, so you can add your own flair to, you know, whatever you want in here, and I like that. It'd be a really, really cute little journal. I love all the different um, dyed papers she did, the different textures. So it was just really so cute. And then she signed it here, Liz 2023. So fun. These journals would be really cute to make, you know, again, with your scraps and stuff. So, um, yeah, I will have uh, Liz's information in the description box. She's embellishments for days, I believe, on YouTube as well. And I know when I purchased mine, it was, I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, she did have a few left. So, um, yeah, I will post her information in the description box. Go ahead and check out her Etsy shop and her channel and pick up one. And um, this would be so cute for your... Um, your kids, your grandkids, your, you know, anybody that likes to do some memory keeping. They're so adorable. So yeah, let's go ahead and support um, Liz. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed all the goodies I got. And I will be back soon with some more um, birthday crafty, crafty shopping that I've done. And yeah, I hope everybody has a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.